Oh, there's a book here. Oh, I almost missed it. Note from Dr. Rodolfo. It seems Miss O'Donnell has secluded herself away in her quarters. The scant amount of information we have found about this place has been less than promising. Although the team has suggested a few possible hypotheses despite this. The puzzling door Miss Hanson and Miss Dawson have found, however, derails any possible ideas what this place might be. Speaking of, Miss Hanson, my examination and questioning yielded little to, to suggest anything is wrong. She is as healthy as, what, as was when I last examined her, a short time before we left for this expedition. Nonetheless, I shall endeavor to keep an eye on her. Something is off, but nothing that can be detec detected. For now, I shall go check up on Miss O'Donnell, although convincing her to let even me inside when she's busy with work might be tricky. Perhaps some coffee, which she's always insists on drinking every morning and often more frequently throughout through the day, might sway her opinion to let me inside. Okay, so we need some coffee, um, which I shouldn't need to break that, right? Oh god, what is that? Maybe I have to find some coffee? Okay guys, after all that searching, 
for the coffee. I was so confused because I kept looking at that tea maker and everything, and then I checked in all these crates and everything, and I couldn't find a single thing, and I was like, there's something I'm missing. So I went back all through those rooms, and I was like, someone must be growing cocoa beans, and I just didn't notice. <laughs> no, nope. it's right here. There is a carpenter safe. <laughs> Drop the coffee in front of the door. Okay, I can do that. So it's so funny because I like is actually online right now. You can see her like on the mini map over there, um, which I'm actually I'm gonna take that off just just so I can. Oh, I'll probably have to bring it back on so I I know what I'm holding and stuff, huh? But um, uh, let's see, quarters of her place. So I need to drop it in front of the door, right? Oh, it worked! Haha! -ha. Okay, perfect! Awesome! But yeah, she's actually online, so I had to turn back on the chat and <laughs> it was like, help, help! But then as soon as I said it, she, it, she I found it. <laughs> it so silly. Okay, that's a carpenter's block. Alright, let's see. Oh, here's a note. Nine is the second! <gasps> I'm writing that down. second okay all right so we've got our numbers we're getting more numbers which is great okay i don't think i need to poke what in the heck pristine enderman figure huh and a pigment figure okay all right lady <laughs> okay so expedition log seven it's not just miss hansen's unusual behavior that has me concerned we've been searching here for some time now and nothing we found seems to suggest or even hint at who might have once used this place. Even Mr. Actel can't determine if any religious order might have once called this place their own. Of greater concern is the very unusual and unexplained electronic door lock we found. Miss Dawson has told me that she is close to getting it open even though we don't have the number combination that it requires. Hopefully she will be able to open the door without damaging it too heavily but I have faith in her skills. We have not explored the lower level as heavily, although we have found another electronic lock, which only adds to the strangeness of this, of this temple. Something is drawing me and the team here. Whatever that reason is, I'm still not certain, but I wish to find out and find out why it drew us here. Okay. So that was a number. I wonder if one of these books is another thing. Like Adventures of Flutter. <laughs> That's cute. So like maybe there's another book or something that maybe Laika wrote. Because we don't have all the numbers yet. Because there were six slots for the numbers. So I just want to poke around and make sure I see everything, you know? Like, what are all these things? Oh, oh, no, put you back. Let me just look at the- let me just look at the shelf. Goodness. Okay, Amber. Molly? Oh no, who is Molly? Okay, what about this? Pottery shard, relic shard, sapphire. These are pretty. I like those gems. I want to have a whole collection of all the gems. Okay, tanzanite, pottery shard, pottery shard. What about this one? Or not. Okay, so I don't- I didn't really see anything. Okay, I can only assume that there's something to figure out here. Because why would this pressure plate be here if else? I mean, what does it do? What did that do? I don't see where it did really anything, but it could be wrong. I mean, maybe I should go back to the door and now that I have the number? Oh! That makes so much sense. I can't believe I was trying with those numbers so hard. Okay. That's open now. And I guess I can always get another coffee if I need to. So let's see. So it would be 7931. Oh, that didn't do it, right? Yeah. 
trying the next or maybe the original quick doorless okay so there's that and then in this room was was it this room it had oh no it was not this room okay so it's not the room with the door maybe it's this room That was it. A citrus battery. What? Okay, maybe that's the code for the next one and I need this. Okay. All right, so two, three, seven, one. Okay. So now we're gonna head over here and go straight here. Uh, two, three, seven, one. Ah, <gasps> and that was it too. <gasps> what in the world? Oh, this is amazing. Oh, Leica, this is the statue you were talking about this whole time. Oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just checking every block to see if there's any more hidden secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Which I'm sure there are. Okay, here is another uh, note or uh, log. Expedition log eight. Miss Dawson managed to crack open the first electronic lock. And what we found inside was curious. It seemed to be a rudimentary battery. What we would consider a simple science experiment. Yet it is stark, it starkly contrasts what else we have found here. Electronic locks and now a simple battery. Something about this place is not adding up. Along with simple batteries, we found a series of numbers, which opened the electronic lock on the lower floor. This room seems to have been the pinnacle of worship here, if that's what this place was ever used for. Something about the statue seems off. Something familiar, even though I know I've never seen it before in my life. We took one of the batteries with us. Perhaps there's somewhere for it to be used when in this room. Perhaps it might finally unlock the mystery of the strange place. Okay, so I think we're probably getting close to the end, guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe. Like, this is totally, like, going to... Um, I haven't decided if I'm, if I'm going to... Oh, it's a carpenter store! Uh... Huh. Okay, this is a carpenter's door. It has to probably be placed somewhere uh, so that it can actually power the thing? 
But I don't, I don't want to place it and then like lose it or something. Normally, like it has like a little note being like, this is what you do. Probably. You're just gonna look all around. There might be a thing that I might need to, I don't know. I can go get another one. Do you need that? Do you want? <laughs> I didn't think that would work. What? Are those like particles or something? Oh my gosh, where? Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. We are not in Kansas anymore. Where in the world? What in the world? Oh, that's, I don't know if I should stand on that, really. Grimstone, what? Okay, let's close that back, I guess. And read this next log? Captain's log. My name is not Shannon O'Donnell. That woman was my ancestor. My name is Catherine Janeway. I am the captain of the USS Voyager. My crew and I had been passing through the system when we detected an unusual anomaly on the planet. We discovered the source of the anomaly to be the abandoned house near here. We beamed down to the planet to investigate. As we followed the signal from the house, myself and my crew were trapped by some monstrous creature. We became trapped in some form of illusion that deceived us into believing we were native explorers of this planet. Whatever trapped us here had immense power. Although its power seemed to not function properly on cybernetics, so and so Seven re so Seven retained some of her memories. Her erratic behavior as Miss Hansen has, uh, was the result of her attempts to fight against the illusion. Before my eyes, I saw Rodolfo, Actel, Russell, and Michaels disappear into nothing. The illusion must have constructed false identities from our memories based on those who were not with us. What happens now is that we must contact the rest of the crew, awaiting an orbit. While we could search for the anomaly, the signal is weak and difficult to trace. Whatever entity has trapped us has disappeared. I can only hope that the inhabitants of the planet are up to dealing with this creature, whatever it is. Oh my gosh! What? What? Are you serious? Oh my god, Laika, that was amazing! Also, I love this sculpture. It's a creeper face, I think. It looks like it. I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, what? So, wait, I just heard a door open. Laika, are you here? I think she might be behind that door. Uh, okay, so let's go out through here. Oh my gosh. What? Is there more? I hear slimes. Okay, I hear things. Maybe we should go up here. Oh, oh, wrong way. Okay. Okay, let's go up here and see what... Was that the end of it? I mean, that's an amazing story, if so. I love that. Yeah, that was the end! Okay, so we're in the souvenir room, guys. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, that was amazing. Um, alright, so hang on. I'm going to give my feedback and everything to Laika, and then I will meet you guys back outside. Hopefully, with a brand new souvenir. <laughs> okay. Um, hello, Laika. Hi. <laughs> alright, everyone. So I'm here with my... I've got Laika here. <laughs> um, but... I had to fly up to the top of this because this is where uh, there were a lot of slimes down at the bottom and they were trying to get me. But this was super enjoyable and I loved it. Thank you again, Laika, and thank you so much for the help. I got stuck at a certain part. <laughs> Alright, so I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye